Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm very excited to show you a very useful tool called PCG Tools. This tool can be used to manage and edit uh, PCG files from various uh, Korg keyboards. Um, the tool is called PCG Tools, as I said. We're going to open it here. The first thing you want to do is go to help in manual. It will show you the manual in a web browser and you can have a look at, on page 42 to see if it is compatible with uh, the version of your uh, keyboard. It shows you the keyboard name and the supported file types. Um, I have a Triton Extreme, Cork Triton Extreme. So we, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use some of the main features in this program using a PCG from a Cork Triton Extreme. I'm going to open it and the first thing you'll notice here at the top is you have programs, combis, drum kits and you can all patches so you can list all the patches in one screen. Uh, normally some of the main features they like to do is copying uh, programs or combis from one uh, PCG to another or I might want to edit uh, the PCG the same PCG so for example suppose I, I wanted to delete this uh, program here let me just back it up okay um, all, I, all, I can, all, all I have to do is just select it and clear it it's, and it's going to tell you at least one patch is used as a reference by another patch. Do you want to clear use patch? It's basically saying that this program is used uh, in in another combi. It's just a warning to confirm whether you want to go ahead and delete it or not. And I'm just going to go yes just for this example. Um, also, if you want to rename a program or a combi, you just double click on it, go there and just edit it. Press OK. You can also move it up and down and you can also compact multiple uh, programs or combis together so uh, for example we have one blank one at the top if I compact them it will move everything towards the top and leave the blank ones at the bottom um, and the other thing I can do is copy and paste for example I can just copy that program from there, press where I want to paste it and then press paste, it will paste it. Um, these are the main features. Uh, you can you can copy between the various uh, program banks except for bank F which is the most bank you can only copy within the same bank. Uh, and the same thing applies to combis you have the same set of uh, buttons at the bottom. Um, in combis what you can do is go to timbers as the combi consists of multiple programs up to eight programs in, in the Korg Triton Extreme it will show you the, the, the number of the program and in which bank it's sitting it will show you the name of the program and various other things here it shows you the volume so you can tell if it's actually being used or not. If it's zero, it means it's not really being used in that program. It's just uh, sitting there. Um, okay, what else? There's one uh, important feature as well here in programs. In the refs column there, it shows you the number of references made to this PCG, uh, to this uh, program. For example, if you wanted to save some space here, you know that this one is showing zero references, which means it's not used in any combi. So this is something you might potentially want to delete and add something else in its place if you want to. Um, this is a very useful feature. Um, what else? Uh, lists. Reports here. Generate a list. You can use this for a few, you can generate a few different list types there. Um, 
some of the useful ones I like to do is program usage lists. For example, if I want to find out which programs from bank F are used in which combinations, I can just to select the program users list, deselect everything, select bank F, and then I can leave everything selected there. I can generate a comma separated values list, which is uh, an Excel file, CSV, and then I can go generate, and it will open it. It will show you here program F triple zero is used in combi, is using combi. Uh, and bank B number 10 and same thing and if it's used in multiple combis it will list them like that uh, this is a very useful uh, report um, of course you can experience uh, I mean experiment with the various different uh, reports there um, now there is one tip uh, uh, some settings I changed them when I first installed the program okay so under settings options settings cut copy and paste you just need to make sure that um, you have everything ticked the same way I have them here because by default I think it prevents you from uh, deleting patches that are referenced by other patches uh, or it might prevent you uh, to some of the functions uh, in you know copying and cutting and pasting so I've enabled that so that I did because I know what I'm doing um, and it's going to be safe and I always have a backup so I never I never edit it without uh, having a backup copy so if anything goes wrong I can still recover it um, so you can pause the video on the screen and just make sure your settings are exactly the same as I have them here to unlock everything. And when you're finished, you can just go to file and save and you will save your changes on the same file. Um, or you can save it as a new file if you want. Um, yeah, this is pretty much everything that I normally use in this program. It's very useful. It saves you a lot of time. Um, and it's really really easy to use um, and it's most of all it's free um, the programmer does have an option to donate if you wanted to donate you can go to about and press donate there and they totally deserve it this is a very amazing tool uh, I, I would recommend if you could donate uh, it's it's it would really help them um, to continue developing this program uh, as new keyboards come out and they'll continue to f uh, fix uh, bugs, uh, program bugs. And uh, yep, I think this is pretty much everything I wanted to say. I hope you found this uh, video useful and thank you for watching.